Hello YouTubers, Jim from Ohio here once again and I wanted to give another update on this uh, hybrid solar hot water controller that I've done a couple videos on. I mentioned last week that um, I had the uh, device fully connected, fully installed and I mentioned that I wanted to figure out a way to determine exactly uh, how much hot water this device is making versus how much uh, the upper element on my regular hot water is making. And um, so I mentioned that I was going to uh, uh, seek installing a meter and what I did, I went online and I found uh, just an AC meter that looks like this. It's uh, one of these cheap, uh, cheap Chinese meters that you can pick up on Amazon or eBay and that is an AC meter. There's a difference in an AC versus a DC meter. The AC meter you can simply install a clamp like this that you run one of the power lines uh, coming from uh, going to the uh, upper element and that should measure how much AC power. The DC version of this requires a shunt and uh, I'm not interested in one of those right now but I was able to pick up this meter for about ten dollars I ordered it from Amazon and I was going to install it on my box so that I could uh, monitor the uh, AC power that's being used by the hot water heater versus that that this device is making with the solar panels. Well you'll see that it's not installed and the reason that I didn't install it is um, one of the things that I had also mentioned last weekend was that my uh, I've got one of these sense power meters that monitors the power in my whole house and uh, I noticed that after connecting the solar hybrid controller last weekend uh, it didn't seem to pick anything at all up on Sunday and Monday. I had absolutely zero power use uh, from the hot water heater. Well then I noticed on Tuesday you can see here that I do have uh, some power usage so uh, what, uh, what I've uh, determined was that the reason that this didn't come on at all on Sunday or Monday is because my hot water heater simply didn't use any AC electricity at all on Sunday and Monday which is a good thing that means that this controller is doing exactly what it should and it produced all of the hot water that I needed for my house on both Sunday and Monday and my hot water tank didn't have to come on at all uh, both Sunday and Monday were uh, were days that we had lots of sunshine. So with that knowledge, I'm not going to bother to hook this up at all. Uh, maybe later I will or I might use that for a different project. But uh, let me show you exactly what this device has done over the last week. I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit on the uh, sense power meter. So you can see here all of uh, this is last week, today is Sunday, so we're now in a new week, so this day is in the new week, and I have used a little bit of power, but uh, what you can see here is over the last week, the electricity, AC uh, power company generated electricity that my tank used uh, was a total of 9 kilowatts of power or at my current rate that's about a dollar's worth of power. The, uh, the upper element has come on a total of 17 times and ran for a total of 2 hours and 31 minutes. So uh, that's how much um, commercial electricity this hot water heater has used. So let me go to the last week and show you a comparison. Uh, you can see this is Saturday. This is the day that I actually installed the meter or installed the controller. And then this is the Sunday that it didn't come on at all. So here's the uh, normal usage of the hot water tank. And you can see last week we used about 28 and a half kilowatts at $4 and it came on 35 times compared with this week only 9 kilowatts. So right away I'm seeing that this device is uh, working out. Now I want to show you that because if we go back another week it kind of shows 
the typical usage in my household, the hot water tank used about 47.2 or $6 worth of electricity. And if we go back a little bit further, just to get an idea of my average use, the previous week, 37 and a half kilowatts. Now the week before that, only 18 kilowatts. This is when I was out of town. I had to go to Kansas City for a week for training for work. So this was just a hot water heater coming on, maintaining uh, the level of heat in the tank. I didn't, uh, no showers taken, no usage at all until Sunday. That was the day that I came back into town. So uh, you can see that this week with nine kilowatts, um, I have consumed less this week than uh, that full week uh, that no showers were taken at all. Uh, then we get back into typical usage the week prior to that, 30 kilowatts, the week before that, 36 kilowatts, 35 kilowatts. So you can see here that based on my typical usage and the uh, current, let's try to get back to where we were, the current week or last week only 9 kilowatts, I'm immediately seeing a savings by turning this device on. So hopefully that'll give everybody a good picture of what this might do for you. Now I do want to point out that I have a huge tank. I've got an 85 gallon hot water tank in my house. Now if you were to hook this up on a typical 40 gallon tank or a 50 gallon tank instead of this big tank that I'm using, I would guess that the upper element would not have to come on at all. My guess would be that uh, this device would pr produce all of the electricity needed to keep one of those smaller tanks uh, going. So uh, just a little bit of uh, uh, information on where you can get one of these. As I mentioned on the last videos, I'm not an affiliate. Uh, I didn't want to give a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this device until I had a chance to use it and be able to give an educated uh, recommendation either for or against this device. But for right now, after a week's worth of usage and seeing the power savings that I've seen so far, according to the Sense Whole Home Meter, uh, at this point, I'm going to have to give this device a thumbs up. It looks like it's doing exactly what it was advertised to do. Um, I'm not affiliate of, of uh, anybody that sells any of these. Uh, if you're interested in getting one of these for yourself, uh, the two places that I know that you can get them, uh, you can go to eBay and do a search for Tech Luck. That is the guy who actually manufactures these devices. Uh, that's TechLuck, T-E-C-H-L-U-C-K. Or um, another place that you can get them, I'm going to go ahead and make a recommendation for this guy because I know he has a lot of really good videos out there online. This is Engineer775. You can find him on YouTube or you can go directly to his website at practicalpreppers.com. You can see he's got the device right here on his main page. He sells it for exactly the same amount that the manufacturer sells for, which is $259. Simply click on that button right there. Uh, he also sells a kit where uh, for $355 you get some cable. I think you get the box to mount this device in. It is a kit. The only thing that you get for $259 is this component right here, which is the circuit board and the heat sink that that's mounted on. You have to mount it in your own box. Engineer 775 makes it a little bit easier if you buy his kit. I think you get some cable that you would need to mount it. Uh, you get the box that it's in. I think that he even sells solar panels and mounting supplies, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, of course, if you wanted panels, it would uh, be more than the $355 price. But uh, as I mentioned, so far this device I've got a thumbs up for. Uh, go out and get one. I know that some people are actually installing two of those, meaning they're totally replacing both the upper and lower 
uh, the power going to the elements in the hot water heater. I'm not ready to do that yet. I live in Ohio, so we've got a lot of cl uh, cold and cloudy days during the winter time. I'll have to still wait and see how well this device produces during the winter. Uh, so far, um, so far it's done exactly what it was advertised to do. So. Um, Thanks for watching. If anybody has any questions about this, go ahead and post it down below. Uh, if you're not a subscriber to my channel and you like the content that I've produced so far, I encourage you to click the subscribe button and then click the little bell and you'll be notified anytime I uh, post a new video. This is Jim and Jenny from Ohio. Take care and thanks for watching.